Weed control for your yard is important for the health of your lawn, but what about gardens and flower beds? In this video, we'll go to a residential lawn and I'll show you how to kill weeds and flower beds and keep them from coming back for months to come. Hi, I'm Jason with Solutions Pest and Lawn. Sometimes we're so concerned with weed control in our yard that we forget about weeds that pop up in our garden, flower and mulch beds. Not only are certain weeds an eyesore that can really hurt the look of a landscape flower bed, but they can also compete for resources with your ornamental plants. Weeds grow much faster and will steal water, sunlight, and other nutrients. Invasive species such as dichondra also compete for space and will eventually overwhelm and kill other plants. So it's important that we don't forget about weed control in our gardens and flower beds. Keep in mind that a weed is technically any plant that grows where you don't want it to or where it shouldn't. So if you've got some grass popping up in a flower or mulch bed, hey, go ahead and take care of that too. Luckily, getting rid of weeds in flower beds is easier than you might think. All it takes is a little bit of elbow grease and choosing the best weed control product for you. There are a lot of weed killers out there, and some of them are designed for ornamental bed spraying. But we recommend taking care of weeds before they've popped up. For that, you'll need a pre-emergent weed killer. A pre-emergent herbicide is used as a protective barrier to prevent weeds from sprouting. Prevent is a key word here, because a pre-emergent will not kill grown weeds, it will just prevent them from growing. You can watch our video on pre-emergent herbicides to learn more. We'll have a link for that video in the description below. You can use an erysolin or prodiamine product in your flower beds. We recommend using Nitrophosis Prodiamine Pre-Emergent Barricade. This is an easy, ready-to-use granular herbicide that is extremely effective in preventing weed growth in flower beds and offers up to a six-month residual. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, well, what about the weeds that have already popped up in my flower bed? Well, we'll go to a residential lawn and I'll show you the best way to get rid of them and how Barricade will keep them away. Okay, so we're out here at our residential lawn and as you can see, we've got a lot of broadleaf weeds popping through the flower bed over here. Now, the best way to get rid of them initially is just to get in there and dig them out. Now, you can do this by hand or you can use a garden tool to make it a little bit easier. So today, I'll be using this garden hoe. Now, removing weeds this way is super simple. What you'll want to do is you'll want to get down about three to four inches to try to get as much of that root as possible. Now, depending on the weed, the root system could be a little bit deeper, and that's where pulling them by hand might be better. Now that that's done, you can see that the soil is nice and broken up, and uh, we've smoothed out any of the potholes or any of the dugouts. This will give us a nice foundation to apply our barricade pre-emergent. Barricade needs a uniform application to the soil surface to be most effective. You'll also want to remove any of the cut up weeds, any of the dirt clods, or any of the dirt debris. And if you leave any of the weed clippings behind, don't worry, they're just going to dry up and die. Now, even though we removed all the grown weeds, there's likely more weeds and seeds waiting to germinate beneath the soil. Now, if you just pull the weeds and call it a day, then eventually more weeds will sprout up in their place, causing you to start back at square one. This is where our barricade comes in. Now, barricade is a pre-emergent herbicide, which will stop any immature weeds that are left over from germinating. Now, according to the label, we're going to apply 2.5 to 5.9 pounds for every thousand square feet. You'll need to pre-measure your treatment area first, and always read the label for proper usage and application rates. So today we're using our hand spreader. Now you're going to want to spread the barricade nice and evenly to get a uniform application. Now that that's done, you'll need to water the granules in. You'll want to get at least a half inch of water over top of the granules. So you can do this with either a garden hose, or if there's rain in the forecast, let Mother Nature take care of it for you. Now another option that you have is to use a post-emergent weed killer before applying the barricade. You'll want to use a glyphosate product to spot treat and kill the weeds. Now be very careful with glyphosate products because they're non-selective herbicides, they'll kill any plant that they touch. So the good news is, is that glyphosate doesn't have any soil activity, which means it won't leach into the ground and kill any of your other plants. You actually have to spray the leaf surface in order to kill it. So if you intend on using a glyphosate product to rid yourself of those weeds in the garden, you're going to want to make sure you use something to block off the plants you want to keep from the weeds you intend to kill. For example, we're using a flattened piece of cardboard to shield our plants from the glyphosate application. You can also purchase a sprayer with a little cone tip on the end of it for easier application. You can then apply the barricade once the weeds are dead for long-lasting control. Using a pre-emergent weed killer like Barricade is great for your flower beds and gardens. And it also offers a residual from up to three to six months depending on your application rate. And what's great about Barricade is that you can use it on your turf to control weeds in your lawn. Just make sure that it's listed for your grass type and the weeds you're trying to control. One final tip, prodiamine products can stain surfaces yellow. So if you're trying to control weeds around decorative rocks, on patios, or around pavers, you might want to use a pre-emergent like Dithiapir to keep them from discoloring. 
If you have any further questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't hesitate to reach out to us by stopping by one of our stores, giving us a phone call, dropping us an email, or visiting our website. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more product and how-to videos. I'm Jason Baker with Solutions Pest and Lawn. Ask us how, then do it yourself. Man, everybody, why is everybody deciding to do their freaking yard work on a Wednesday at 11 o'clock in the morning? That's so weird, isn't it? I've never gotten up on a Wednesday and been like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut the freaking grass, man.